Hey, Jade here from Raw Vegan Fruitarians for Life. If you're interested in fruitarianism, raw veganism, you're a vegan, you're healthy, or you just want to follow me, subscribe to my channel. Okay, today I'm going to talk about why I'm on fruit. No, when I say I'm on fruit, I've been on fruit for 11 months extremely high fruit but I've had greens, nuts, seeds, avocado, coconut, meat, all those kind of things in my diet as well. Well, four days ago, I don't know what happened to me, I just went, that's it, I'm just eating all fruit and I'm feeling fabulous. No, I seriously am feeling really good. Why am I doing this? It's a question people keep asking me. I did actually a huge post about it on Facebook in my um, Raw Vegan Fruitarians for Life group. But I'm going to explain to you exactly why. Well, I started being a raw vegan predominantly to clear my skin. I've had acne problems my whole entire life. I've used absolutely everything. You name it, I've used it from Dead Sea Salt to prescriptions from doctors putting me on all sorts of different antibiotic creams, the pill, all those sorts of things. Nothing has fixed it. I've had cystic um, acne which is all around my jawline for the last couple of years which has been um, hormonal and through further study I've realized acne um, has a lot to do with your gut health so if your gut health isn't right nothing um, that can be a reason why you have acne your body's going to find a different um, different ways to purge out the different bacteria in your body <laughs> mine chooses my face um, which sometimes really upsets me because I see people sitting there eating junk food and I know they eat junk food all the time and I'm looking at their skin I'm like are you serious your skin is flawless and I've been eating healthy for many years and I've still got all these bumps and lumps and it, it, sometimes it gets really um, frustrating and upsetting and I've been really a little bit down on my skin for the last couple of weeks and I think it's as well people show how beautiful their skin's looking on, at, on raw and I think well was their skin as bad as mine has it healed and you know all those kind of things and I have seen people with skin as bad as mine um, and it's healed and that's really inspiring for me um, but unless you've had acne you don't realize what you go through it's really emotional and some days you have days where you just like do I really want to show my face to the world and it can be really upsetting some days especially when it's really bad um, yes my skin has been clearing and I've had weeks months on this lifestyle where it's been ultra clean um, but in the last month or so it's got really bad and it's had a massive breakout now there are a few reasons I believe this is happening one um, my body's trying to clean itself out two I went and put almond oil on my skin now I had been using just water and an exfoliating brush and predominantly no makeup except you know a special occasion or something like that I've been really trying to keep it clean and then I decided to put oil on it don't ask me why and all of a sudden it started breaking out everywhere so and I see people all the time saying oh use coconut oil use this use that I've used all those different oils in the past if you've got skin like me which builds up sebum very quickly you're going to break out very quickly on oil and I know that and I knew this from over the years as I said I've tried everything but I was really inspired. This girl had this beautiful skin. I'm like, oh, I just want to have that skin. Anyway, I ended up with worse skin. So I've been really down in the dumps about that. Um, and part of me started looking at, you know, well, should I just eat how I normally eat? Because my skin's not improving. When I say normally eat, cook food and whatever. Because I was getting really down. And I was getting really upset and I was getting really frustrated. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to do that. I feel one... Um, long term eating a raw vegan diet is the healthiest diet for me and I believe that honestly in my heart of hearts to I feel a major responsibility I have a forum which has over 20,000 people in it and um, I feel a major responsibility and having that responsibility for me keeps me raw and so I was thinking oh god no 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 anyway I didn't turn cooked it was just the anger and frustration and I just wanted people to know everybody gets this way anybody who puts themselves up on this perfect pedestal and says that they never struggle is a liar because even the most perfect people 
struggle. We're human beings, we're gonna struggle. So um, that's the first thing. The second thing is I've just, every time I make a salad lately at night time, I'm like, and I'm sitting there. And I'm, uh, I even made myself dehydrated pizzas and everything, and I haven't even eaten them. I've still got the dehydrated pizzas sitting in my kitchen. I just looked and I went, oh, I really don't want this. I've been making real fancy gourmet style fo um, food. I've got plenty of recipes. If you follow me on my Instagram, Raw Vegan Fruitarians for Life, you'll see I've got plenty of recipes. So that was never an issue. It's just, I felt, ugh. So four days ago, I just thought, stuff this, I'm gonna have fruit. I feel great on fruit. So I've just been having fruit and I'm feeling amazing. I've been cleaning my skin with pure aloe vera, um, vera which I picked out of my garden, and I've juiced it. And I'm putting that on my skin morning and night, but at night time when I put it on my skin, I'm patting activated charcoal on top. So I'm really interested to see how that'll go for me too. So I'm just completing day four today, and I'm gonna keep you up to, up to date with some vlogs. I didn't start on day one, because at day one I just thought, oh, I'll see how I go. But now I'm thinking, oh, I might go a bit longer. No time limits on anything messes with my head. Never, ever, ever do I put myself under mental restriction. So I'm just seeing how it goes. I'm gonna keep you updated with vlogs. I'm gonna keep you updated with my skin and see how it all goes. So I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a share if you think it may help someone else with their skin or let someone else know they're not the only person struggling. And subscribe to my channel and join my group. Links in the description for my group. All right, thanks for watching. Bye now.